this week on the Vic Meyer Show, Mickey and I are celebrating three months together and my 50th birthday. We're going to spend time in my three favorite places. Humboldt County, Mono County, and San Diego County. More specifically, Blue Lake, Mammoth, and the People's Republic of Ocean Beach and the world famous Dog Beach. But first, Please subscribe. It really helps me grow this channel and the dream that is the Vic Meyer Show. Thank you to Stephen Mishler for his kind gift via Venmo. Get your name in lights every week by becoming a Patreon member just like David Reimers. Much love. Now on with the show. It's my 50th and my first three months with Mickey. Here's a little slideshow. Just like we used to do back in the day. That's the day we met. I knew right away she was the one for me. It's only solidified with every passing day. Absolutely adore it here on the North Coast. Northern California, Humboldt County, man, this is my jam. For all those naysayers who might complain that California is too crowded or too expensive, you know, I don't think you've looked far enough or hard enough. This is definitely one of my very very happy places. Blue Lake, California is a special place pulled right from the pages of a Mark Twain novel. The homes and the community are both so unique. Funny thing about Blue Lake, there's no lake, only seasonal lakes and the Mad River. Yeah, making friends everywhere we go. Mickey. Oh, she almost got named Pearl. Hi, Pearl and Maple. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, are you kidding me? There's just a whole lot of charm and personality here. It's so quaint and beautiful, and the people are absolutely fantastic. In 1861, more than 90 inches of rain fell on the area, creating a series of seasonal lakes giving the town its name of Blue Lake. Resorts were built long ago which capitalized on this phenomenon, and which still occurs occasionally. When I said we were going back to Mammoth, I meant back, way back, in the way back machine, to one year ago and a very special birthday. At this point it was time for me to head back over to Mammoth and meet up with some friends who are about to play at Liberty Bar. Who knows, maybe they'll let me sit in.
your predecessors and they're home for this weekend. Good girl. Have you made a friend? Huh? Moo, huh? Like the, when I got him, I looked, he had the marks of a cow, so I called him Moo. I really wanted Mickey to experience the joy that is dog-friendly OB. We stayed at a clean, very nice, modern, and conveniently located Airbnb on Voltaire and less than one block from the world famous Ocean Beach Dog Beach and some great local bars and restaurants. The old bistro was always my jam, dog friendly, down to earth. Now it's the Voltaire Beach House. Still chill, dog friendly? Yeah, I don't know, girl. We're gonna have some dinner. What a fun time at the park, huh? Yeah. Now it's time for dinner. Well, they make meals in an actual bowl for your dog. The Voltaire Beach House. Thank you. We will be back. Much love. So, just outside of our cute little bungalow is the world famous, largest leash free area in all of the world, as far as I know. I mean, it's it's called Dog Beach. It's made just for you and your kind. So yeah, it's a beautiful day. Right down the street from Dog Beach. We're also here on a Wednesday. And that's the world famous Ocean Beach Farmer's Market. Legendary, world famous 
Ocean Beach Farmers Market. but we sure are wide. Uh, this section of right of way though, if you're interested in railroad history, this is just like one of the most interesting spots I think in Northern California. Thank you for watching the Vic Meyer Show every Wednesday on YouTube. And remember, when you're out there driving, keep it between the lines and look out for Smokey because they're looking out for you. And as always, thank you for allowing me to entertain you, presumably. This is the Vic Meyer Show every Wednesday on YouTube. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also, keep those comments coming. You know I love them, and I love you. Much love. I've never seen it this busy. It's great because that's how I make my money. Um, as long as you're polite, I'm happy to see you. But uh, again, I'm not the only one out here. Many people walk by that trash. And I'm no fucking hero. God, like I said, I'm just trying to figure me out. Really don't know what else to say. This is just really my heartfelt plea to stop leaving trash in the wilderness.